Hi future managers, this is another important week. Why? Because we're in the preparation to get ready for our midterm presentations. And I have some tips for you. First, I would like to go over the idea that we have to create a group evaluation. This is important because I know working as a manager and in any context you'll find yourself, you'll be working with people. This is your opportunity to evaluate your group members. And you have to do this in a group submission. So that means each one of you have to evaluate the other group members in terms of are they meeting the criteria that you set out in your group charter? Are they meeting the response time? Are they be meeting the communications? And this is your time to evaluate each other and to get feedback in return. Remember, you won't always have a manager or a, pr a professor that will help you facilitate. This is your opportunity to learn and build these skills because they will become important in the future when you're working with people. And I can guarantee you'll have a project where you'll have to facilitate group dynamics and group team experience, and this will help you build that. And that's why we're here. So make sure you're answering that honestly, because if you don't and you just give everyone fives or you said everyone's doing great, you cannot come back to me later and say, oh, they didn't do any work. I carried the work because you already gave them all fives and you've given me no documentation to give people credit uh, for those who, who deserve it and for those who don't. So I need for you to be honest with your group and to have a clear dialogue and say, hey, you're not necessarily carrying the weight that's based off of the expectations of the group and be open and be transparent. Next, we also gotta make sure that we are getting ready for our midterm presentation. Again, this is 10 to 12 minutes, and this is outlined in the midterm assignment presentation uh, within Canvas. And there's a clear step-by-step -step process of what you need to do in terms of making a video, which is quite open in terms of how you deliver it, but there are some characteristics that you need to cover or an outline of uh, steps that you need to cover. Make sure you're going through that and covering those parts. More or less, it's similar to the different milestones that we've been covering and trying to talk and pitch our idea about our TV show. The good news is, is you have so many examples to pull from. I expect each one of you in your group to go out and watch five different midterm and final presentations from past students' work on the YouTube channel. From the first day of class, you've reviewed one of the presentations, the final presentation of a very good group who made a very good video and presentation and that was Hotel Transylvania. Again, I encourage you to go back and watch that. You're expected to produce a quality video like that. Quality video meaning being able to communicate your ideas, communicate your storyline. You may choose a different medium, you may choose a different approach, but the same clear communication needs to happen in terms of how you're transmitting your episodes the concepts, the ideas, the storyline, the characters, and connecting all of this to the concepts of management that we're covering. Remember to use citations and build the narrative. Make it interesting. Don't be that boring group. Don't be that group that no one wants to watch. You're pitching your idea. Your idea is supposed to be important. Your idea is supposed to be an interesting. Your idea is supposed to be creative. These are all concepts that are important within management, and you have to persuade people to follow. Remember, we don't have guns, we don't have knives, we only have the words that we use. Words written and spoken to persuade people to follow what we do as leaders, to follow what we do as managers, to invest in our projects, to invest in our businesses, to buy our products, to buy our services. These are the tools of management. So again, this is an exciting week. Remember to continuously work ahead, start planning. There will be technology issues. There's no excuse not to have that video uploaded before 11.59 when it's due. Anything after is going to be considered late. Do not upload it after 1159 and make sure when you submit to Canvas, you do not necessarily need to submit the video. You can submit the PowerPoint slides or whatever you made to pre the presentation, but you need to have the video uploaded to Canvas by 1159, or excuse me, you need to have the presentation uploaded to Canvas by 1159 and you got to have to make sure you have the whole video uploaded to um, the YouTube channel. I will be reviewing the video on the YouTube channel and I need for you to have that. Anything not uploaded will not receive credit. Again, this is very important. Work ahead. There's always technology issues. You guys are well on your way. I've seen some of the work that you've been doing. In fact, I've been very impressed with the design challenges that you're doing. Keep it up. The That's engaging, motivating. You're inspiring other people. And then the, the short flip videos. And some of you are working smart. Those are actually your episode videos. So bravo for you 
for seeing the advantages of doing this iterative process, for being prepared and being engaged. You are the leaders of this class and you're inspiring others in the group. So congratulations and I look forward to the midterm presentations.